Hi, this is Dr. Jake Felice talking to you from sunny Seattle with another Medical Marijuana Minute. And uh, today I would like to discuss the topic of uh, edible cannabis as medicine. And edible cannabis uh, behaves differently than um, inhaled, vaporized, or smoked cannabis. The main uh, particular reason uh, is the amount of time that it takes uh, for the substance to uh, achieve uh, activity in the nervous system. Smoked or vaporized cannabis uh, will uh, achieve in minutes in effect versus edible cannabis, which takes anywhere from 40 minutes to about two hours or so. So there's a huge difference in the delivery time of the medicine. And this can be important, say for example, in the case of migraines, uh, where uh, prior to getting a migraine, a patient will have a visual aura and can know that they're uh, soon to be having an attack. If they were to eat cannabis at this point in time, it would not be as effective. Uh, however, that doesn't mean that edible cannabis doesn't have a place. In fact, it has a very large place, and in my opinion, in the case of pain, I think it does have uh, or can have an even larger place uh, uh, in the repertoire than uh, smoked uh, or vaporized cannabis. And the reason for that is uh, that um, smoked cannabis, uh, vaporized cannabis will have a duration the medicinal effect will last, oh, anywhere from one to three hours. Um, and that will not allow a patient who's in severe, uh, debilitating, intractable pain to get through the night, to sleep through the night. However, with uh, oral cannabis, the duration of activity is uh, much longer, anywhere from six to up to 12 hours. Uh, so it has to be uh, dosed properly. Uh, I mentioned before uh, in my uh, um, Medical Marijuana Minute on uh, vaporized cannabis that it's very easy for a patient to titrate their dose of cannabis uh, with the inhalation method. It is very difficult or can be sometimes difficult for a patient using edible cannabis uh, to get the dose just about right. One of the ways that they can um, uh, effectively do this is through the use of standardized products, uh, products that are made uh, and uh, frequently sold at dispensaries in which uh, have predetermined very specific amounts of the medicine in them. So that, say for example, if it's a Jolly Rancher candy or a lollipop or a particular type of a marijuana cookie or even a, a butter spread, that the, the patient can be assured from one time to the next that they're getting a similar uh, amount of medicine and that they're going to therefore have a similar effect. One of the problems with edible cannabis as medicine is that uh, it's very easy to take too much. This usually happens uh, with naive or newer users rather than more experienced users, uh, but it can still be a very unpleasant experience uh, and sedation is a very uh, strong um, aspect of uh, edible cannabis, much more so than smoked cannabis. Uh, this sedation can be a downside uh, for patients uh, during the daytime. However, uh, it, it flips and turns into a positive uh, in the uh, nighttime when a patient is trying to get a full night's sleep. Uh, edible cannabis is wonderful helping patients in severe pain or with muscle spasms to get a full night's sleep. Uh, but uh, it would not be appropriate, let's say for example in the case of migraines, where that aura comes in and the patient needs quick relief, it's not time then to eat a brownie because by the time the brownie is hitting the bloodstream, the patient may be in a full-blown migraine attack. Uh, in the case of migraines, for example, it would be much better for a patient to vaporize uh, before the pain really gets a chance to set in. And a lot of the times patients will find out that they can many times uh, prevent a migraine attack by uh, nipping it in the bud, so to speak, and catching it before things get bad. Uh, there's a lot to talk about on this topic. I would say that predominantly the benefits of edible cannabis are that it really is much better for pain and spasticity than the uh, vaporized or smoked cannabis. Uh, and it really de depends on the patient's needs, the patient's conditions, what type of uh, delivery method of the medicine is best for them. Uh, it can help uh, many patients do very well, get a good night's sleep, and really have good control over their pain. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is a huge topic. I've gone well over the minute mark here. I'm sure that you may have questions. Please feel free to comment and I'll be happy to respond. 
Uh, this is Dr. Jake Felice with the Medical Marijuana Minute, and thanks for watching.